Welcome everybody, we're at the Hollywood Theater. An interesting fact, the Hollywood neighborhood in Northeast Portland is the only neighborhood in Oregon named after a building. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. You know, every minute in the state of Oregon, there's a report of child abuse or neglect. Here to tell us more is Flavia Arsenault. She is the Director of Development at the Children's Relief Nursery. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, it's not a, a subject that uh, people want to talk about, but it needs to be addressed. Tell us, first of all, what the Children's Relief Nursery is. We prevent child abuse and neglect from happening in the first place. So we work with at-risk families mm -hmm. who have children ages zero to four, and we make them stronger. Now, when you talk about at-risk, tell me what it, the definition of an at-risk family. Sure. Uh, lots of our families are dealing with issues like poverty, unemployment, uh, lack of food or housing, but most importantly, they've demonstrated a, a lack of uh, bond between their, their, their children. Now, in this, uh, the economic times we're in right now, mm -hmm. do you see cases going up? We don't necessarily see cases going up, but the families that we do have are experiencing added uh, stress factors, mm -hmm. like they really are losing their jobs and they really are struggling to make ends meet. Now you're talking about uh, being a preventive agency. Mm -hmm. So when you work with children, tell me what the, some of the measures that you would take to help mm -hmm. prevent child abuse. Well, we work with the parents a lot. Uh, our parenting education class is key. It's a 12 week long curriculum based program. We have a parent infant class where we're working with new mothers and their newborns. Uh, we're even working with parents, uh, mothers in their third trimesters. So that as soon as they give birth, they are strong, they are ready to do this big parenting job and uh, they have no fear about it. So is it counseling mostly? We do have mental health counseling. Some of our clients are dealing with mental health issues, um, but the, one of our key components is our home visit program. So involved in that is, is counseling with our parents. Now, do you have classroom type training? Uh, we do. Training? We have, well, we have therapeutic classrooms for children who, ever, who are experiencing developmental delays, likely as a result of neglect. So you work with children and parents. Do you, do you work right. with them together? We do. We even have child parent psychotherapy where we're overcoming traumatic events together in the mental health office. I, I do know one thing, mm -hmm. a good thing about Children's Relief Nursery is that you are expanding. Mm -hmm, that's right. We're really excited. We are opening up a satellite nursery in East Portland thanks to the funding of Portland Children's Levy, the Collins Foundation, and the Murdoch Charitable Trust. So this will enable us to duplicate what we're doing currently in St. John's and offer our services to 44 new families every year. And, and where is the new? It's going to be in the Gateway neighborhood. Okay. And those neighborhoods are targeted as at-risk neighborhoods? Absolutely. What we're finding is that a lot of low-income folks who are currently residing in North and Northeast Portland are moving out to East Portland due to gentrification. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a great need out there, particularly for families who, are, who have children in our age group, which is zero to three. So uh, how many more families will you be able to take care of? 44 new families every year. And that would bring the total to? To approximately 200 families. So you provide services for 200 families mm -hmm. a year. What kind of staff do you need for something like that? Well, we have 28 staff on site at St. John's and we're gonna be expanding to about six new staff in, in the satellite nursery. But we re rely on the support of hundreds of volunteers every year. Now, what kind of training would a volunteer need to go through? Um, a, a volunteer needs to go through the Oregon State background check for the child care division, um, but most importantly just have an interest uh, working with this age group. And, and time? Uh, what a kind of time Time factor? commitment would be about three hours a week. Hmm. So you're, yeah. are you looking for more volunteers Absolutely. right Absolutely. We're always looking for volunteers in our classroom. And how can we uh, get the word out for volunteers? Who do they contact? They could contact our office um, in St. John's. Uh, myself, I'd be happy to take the call. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we'll put your website, CRN, the number four, mm -hmm. kids.org. Right. Exactly. CRN, the number four, kids.org on our website. And uh, Flavia Arsenal, thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. And thank you for joining us as well here at the beautiful Hollywood Theater. From all of us here, the crew, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.